Good morning, people of God. Listen, I just want to check in and say something with you. I want you to know I love you. Your little country bunking sister loves you now. But I want to say this. We must be diligent and intentional about studying our Father's Word. Continuing, not studying. Continuing, because most of us are studying. But we must continue to study, especially in these days and time. We must be diligent and, and about studying and not allow anyone to break our focus, regardless of what they say and what they do, all right? As we know, there have been many books that have been taken out of our Father's Word. You know, there are many other additional books that have been hidden for such a long time. There are sealed portions of books that were supposed to be open for such a time as this. And, and as a matter of fact, in the sealed portion, the final testament of Jesus Christ, um, what is expounded on is the fact that unless you have the Holy Spirit you will not be able to receive all of the scriptures of God because we are no, because we know that the scriptures of God and the prophets of God far be far exceed what we've been limited to. Most of us have been limited to and just stopping at the Bible. So it should be an exciting time for us as we come into more and more knowledge of our father to help us put ourselves right with God, to help us know who our father is. But I also want you to know this on the flip side of that. We have an adversary that will constantly roam and he will use people who think they are doing God a favor by trying to stop you from going into the word of God, being led by the Holy Spirit. They don't care. They don't have the spirit. They will try to stop you and criticize you from studying the words and the letters that have been left um, here in this earth for us. And they'll think that they're doing the right thing, but they're operating in dem demonic energy. So people of God, I want you to know when you see that, if you get any of that, you're not doing anything wrong by studying the word of God. And as you continue to study, the Holy Spirit is going to guide you into all truth. And if there's been things that are mis that have been removed, if there's been things that have been contaminated, the Holy Spirit is going to show you that too. And you can help your fellow brothers and sisters go forward in the things of God, right? It's only a demonic spirit that will try to stop people from studying the word of God because they don't have eyes to see. So because they can't see, they will sit back and try to criticize your eyes and stop you from doing the things that you're doing. So if you actually were to listen to them, then you'd be stopped listening to them and they're blind. The blind can't lead the blind. Then you will be on the intern. There will be a struggle on the inside of you, not happy, not feeling fulfilled. Why? Because the spirit yearns and it is satisfied by the word of God. And you see, everybody don't have the Holy Spirit to match up with their spirit. So there are some things they can read and it just does nothing for them. But then there are some things that you and I, we read and it gives us instant joy. It brings us to tears. It makes us feel connected. It gives us revelation. It makes us feel fulfilled. Why? Because it's feeding back to that same spirit. Mm -hmm. So anyway... That's what I wanted to share. Continue to study the word of God. Let's continue to study the word of God and go deeper into the letters of God. Everybody ain't going to have eyes to see and just be prepared. Those who can't see, they might try to criticize you on what you're doing. Don't even waste your energy on them. And if you're on a social media platform and they come on your platform, leaving all kind of negative remarks, trying to break your focus, block them like it's hot and keep going. You don't have to read garbage, right? You don't have to read anything negative that's going to take from your energy because a lot of times that's all it's about. The enemy just want to pull from our energy and, and, and break our focus. So let's continue to be about our father's business. Let's continue to study to show ourselves approved. I love you. Have a blessed day. Get a lot of rest. <laughs> you can see I'm still I'm still up in my bed reading and studying. I'm studying for something. So pray for your girl. I'll, I'll reveal it to you once I pass the test. <laughs> but anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Know that I love you. We are the light of the world. We can never let our lights grow dark. We got to keep shining bright. And we know that the blood of Jesus, Yeshua, our Savior, that's the only blood that has some power. So remember, let's continue to study. That's one thing that irritates Satan when we study and he's steady trying to throw stumbling blocks in our way and break our focus. And he hates when we share it. 
He hates when we can share it and break the word down in a way that helps and fulfills God's people. So let's continue to study. All right, because it's going to expose his craftiness, his lies, his deception. And remember, God is not a religion. He's a reality. So even though some there are some books that are tied to certain religions, they are not they were not never meant to be tied to a religion. All right. They're the letters of God. And we that have eyes to see should be able to read through and decipher through it and help God's people see it for themselves as well so that they too can be on their journey of studying and drawing near to our father, which is what he wants. He wants a personal relationship with all of us. All right. God loves you. Have a blessed day, people of God.